Hello everybody, this is Paul. Um, today I'm going to be discussing algebraic properties and specifically I'm going to be discussing the commutative, associative, and distributive properties. Now the commutative property is fairly simple so I've gone ahead and already written that out here. And But first of all I wanted to illustrate all of my examples and I'm going to be using the letters A, B, and C to demonstrate the properties and then the values 5, 3, and 4 just to give an example of uh, how they work. So you can choose your own numbers later on. You'll see what I'm doing with these in just a moment. So basically, the commutative property of addition basically says that you take two numbers and you can add them in either order. You can have the first one, add the second one to it. You can start with the next, you can start with the second one and add the first one to it. It doesn't really matter which order. Um, like like I've chosen up here, 5 plus 3 represent my A and B. doesn't matter if you say 5 plus 3 or 3 plus 5. They both equal 8. So that's essentially what the commutative property of addition says. The commutative property of multiplication is very similar. It doesn't matter whether you take A times B or B times A. Either order, you're going to end up with the same result. Okay, so moving on, the next property is going to be the associative property. So let me go ahead and just write that down right here. Associative property. Okay, so there's the associative property of addition and multiplication. So we'll start with addition. And the associative property of addition basically says that if you take two numbers, a plus b, and then add a third number, c, then that's the same thing as adding the b and the c together first, and then adding the a. That's the associative property of addition. Now, to give an example that works here, 5 plus 3 plus the 4 should be the same as adding the 3 and 4 first and then adding that result to 5. So 5 plus 3 gives us an 8. And we'll add that result to 4. On this side, we're going to add the 3 and the 4 first, which gives us a 7. We're going to add that result to 5. Now 8 plus 4 is 12, and 5 plus 7 is 12. So there you go it works and you can choose any numbers for a b and c um, doesn't matter um, if you pick five three and four like i did or you can pick whichever numbers you like and this will work every time the next one is the associative property of multiplication and it's really similar to the, the associative property of addition basically it says that a times b and then you take that and you multiply it by a third number, c. It's the same thing as taking the b times the c and then multiplying that result times the a. So the numbers I chose, once again, would be 5 times 3, then multiply that result times the 4. Or I could say, let's do the 3 times the 4 first and multiply that result times the 5. 5 times 3 gives us a 15. We'll multiply that by 4. 3 times 4 gives us a 12. We're going to multiply that by 5. 15 times 4 is 60, and 5 times 12 is also 60. So there you go, there's an example of the associative property of addition. Or sorry, associative property of multiplication. Okay, the next one is the distributive property. So the distributive property basically what you want it, what you what the reason why it's called distributive is because the a multiplies or distributes into the parentheses into the terms to give us this result here. So basically the a gets distributed and multiplies times the b, so you get a times b, then you put the add addition sign here, and then it distributes to the next term, to the c, and becomes 
A times C, which is how you got this result right here. So to illustrate this, we're going to go back to the numbers I've chosen. 5 times 3 plus 4 should be the same thing as 5 times 3 plus 5 times 4. Now, order of operations tells us that the parentheses go first. So 3 plus 4 is 7, and then we'll multiply that by the 5. Um, in this case, our order of operations tells us that multiplication goes before addition. So we're going to do the 5 times 3, which is going to give us a 15. We're going to add that to the 5 times 4, which will be 20. Now 5 times 7 gives us 35, and 15 plus 20 also gives us 35. So there you go. That is... Uh, three basic algebraic properties, the commutative, associative, and distributive properties, and uh, hopefully by these examples you can see how they work. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Um, anything else that you guys want to know about math, just let me know. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day.